What's up everybody, it's Onglore. It's that time of week again for the Diablo 3 Challenge Rift, and this time it is number 117. I also want to give you guys an apology in advance because during the video editing process, I noticed that there was two intervals during the first floor only that there was sound going, but the video just straight up stopped. So I was like, what the heck? I was actually getting ready to toss my video editing program out the window because it was giving me troubles for a while and I was going to switch to another one but I noticed that it was simply just for some reason the actual video recording the video just stopped so there's going to be like two or three brief seconds where the time might go forward slightly so I just want to let you guys know like you know I don't know what the hell happened so yeah I just you know there might be a couple seconds missing just because of that so, now that you guys know what's up with that, this week's challenge drift is with the monk, and when I saw what build it was, I was like, oh, I know this build very well because it is one of my favorite, well, it is my favorite monk build. So, I was pretty excited. So, okay, this is going to be pretty easy. It's just going to be a matter of time and the mob density on the floors. And normally, I would just keep speeding through the floors, but I was noticing quite quickly I was just lagging on time, and since... It's this build. I thought to myself, you know what? I can just gather a couple little mobs at a time, simply place my debuffs on them, make them explode, and go about my business. So I noticed the elite packs from floor to floor were very scarce, and that's why I did that. I said, you know what? Let's just gather up what we can, you know, the little 12 to 15 that we can get, explode, and just keep doing that. Like I said, normally I wouldn't, but I had a feeling the way the first floor was and the way the second floor was going that it called for it and it worked out pretty good my timing was where i would like it to be i think i could have done a little bit better but you know what i had a lot of fun doing it i passed it was still about i don't know 30 20 seconds to go so i felt overall i didn't do too bad and as always when i play challenge drift like this with classes and builds that I know and love. It makes you actually want to go back and play that class again. But actually, like I said before, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I'm thinking I should stream a hardcore build. I've been talking about it for a while. And I think it's one of those things where it would be much more fun to see happen in front of you versus recording parts and doing it that way. So when I decide to actually do that, I will let you guys know. I'll put a, you know kind of a post or whatever you call it in discords or not discord in youtube saying hey you know i'm gonna start my diablo 3 hardcore stream and you guys can watch me rage when i die because i already know i'm gonna be so mad when i die i hope i don't die i know it's gonna happen but i just gotta be prepared for it so yeah um this rift was really fun all i really did was just kept moving at a really fast pace gathering up little you know density mobs destroying them being fast moving to the next one and i really did not have an issue with time so i'm going to let the rest of the video speak for itself since the rift garden will be coming out soon and like i said before sorry about the couple of snippets i had to take out it was just really weird how that even happened where just the video just completely stopped and the sound kept going so i hope you guys enjoy this video if this is your first time at the channel please feel free to hit that subscribe button and then hit that like button. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.